Hey, welcome to the show. I am Huck, and man, oh man, my mailbox has been quite busy. Look at all this stuff. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is one busy mailbox, y'all. So, uh, stick around, and I'll show you what's inside. All right, let's just get cracking here, y'all. I've already opened these to save us on time. And uh, look, before I dig into this and show you all these goodies, because they are some sweet goodies, uh, if you're new to my channel, do me a huge favor. Hit like and subscribe, right? I mean, that way it, it really helps me out, and I greatly appreciate it. And if you hit that notification bell, you get notified every time I do one of these awesome videos. I do all kinds of stuff here, too. I do, like, top tens and reviews and... Uh, you know, one movie dash and grabs. You gotta see those, those are kinda funny. All right, anywho, so let's just jump into this box. This is the first one from Kino Lorber. They're having a sale right now. I got I got another box from Kino Lorber coming, but two of them were out of stock, so they hold up the entire shipment until they're all in. So let's just show you right now what we got in part one. Coming up, number one is this uh, old Peter Sellers movie called The Party. Um, this is sort of uh, around the time he started doing Pink Panther. And this is directed by Blake Edwards, the same director who directed all of those Pink Panther films. It's a very funny film, and it was on a super sale. This, this thing is usually, uh, you know, a little pricey, so it was nice to get a nice deal on that. All right, so, all right, Blade Runner fans, you ready for this one? Wanted, dead or alive, which is not in this film, that song, by the way. But, uh, yeah, man, Rutger Hauer uh, doing his thing. I know, I know he's the cop in this film, but he, he's got that raw edge that you know Rutger Hauer to have. And I remember really digging this film, and it was on sale for like 10 bucks. So I hope it holds up. <laughs> uh, and the bad guy, you guys know who it is? That's right. Kiss is d demon guy. Gene Simmons is the bad guy in this film. So... Looking forward to that. A Michael J. Fox comedy, Secret of My Success. I've just been sort of on this Michael J. Fox kick. Sometimes I get on kicks. Like, I was on a huge Leo DiCaprio kick for a while, so I started watching, like, Wall Street and Django and all these. Django and Chain, to be specific. Um, but, yeah, so Michael J. Fox. I wanted to snatch up some of his films as well. I got The Hard Way coming in the next batch, so stick around for that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Now... I have the DVD from Kino Lorber of this sci-fi classic, uh, Metropolis, directed by Fritz Lang. And uh, yeah, so I'm super pumped to get a nice Blu-ray version of this. That'll complete that. And to go back even for well, around the same time as that one is another silent classic, the Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera. So it is not, as you can see right back here, this Universal Classic Monsters, there is a... Phantom of the Opera in that, but that's the one with Claude Rains. They do not even include this, despite all those other ones having all those legacy, you know, movies, and they got sequels and all that. For some reason, they chose not to put this one on there, but it is here. It's loaded. Looks good. Super excited to have this. So, there you go. Lon Chaney, Phantom of the Opera. Let's move these over here. So, the second one, which one am I going to show you? Uh, I'll just show you this, because this is all... <laughs> This is a big deal. Yep, I did it, y'all. Uh, uh, Columbia Classics Volume 2. Look at this beefy sucker. There you go. And let's see, uh, the movies on this include Anatomy of a Murderer with Jim, uh, James Stewart, uh, Oliver, Taxi Driver, Stripes, a classic Bill Murray comedy. If you have not seen that, you should. It's got uh, John Candy in it as well. It's so funny. Uh, Sense and Sensibility, my wife loves that one, so I have to crack that open for her. And The Social Network, the movie uh, that I thought should have won Best Picture that year instead of The King's Speech. King's Speech was well acted, but it's not the best film. I thought Social Network was the best film. So yes, I got mine in, y'all. Woo-hoo, very excited. Columbia, because I did not get Volume 1, so this is sort of me making up for that. So, ugh. All right. So that's box number two. And the third box... There you go. So we're just going to open this one. This one I kind of kept sealed. Um, this was sent in by uh, not just a fan, a friend. That's right. A friend sent me this, and I could not be happier. So he said, uh, check it out, and let me know what you think. So let's, let's open this together and see what's inside. So this is well packed. My friends packed well. So, all right. Oh, oh. oh. 
What? All right, look at this. Okay. <laughs> this is my good pal Keith sent me these. So, holy moly. I, I, I got to be careful taking these out. Hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm gonna do this. There'll be a little edit in three, two, one. All right, it's called the magic of editing right there. All right, we have two steelbook. <gasps> okay, look at this. Two steelbooks here. Right, let's just show them off one at a time. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. Empire Strikes Back. This is great. This is like the advanced poster that was on the Empire Strikes Back. That looks great. And look, man, the back. You got a little Yoda there. So here, let's open it up so you can see the full effect there. Nice. I mean, hopefully, let me, let me make sure the glare is off for you. Can't quite 100% tell, but I think the glare is off now. And then on the inside, discs have been removed, is uh, this nice Hoth scene. Very, very cool. Did I show you that Just one more time? Yeah. Dang, dude, that is a nice steel book. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put my discs, discs in there. And one of my favorite films ever is Galaxy Quest. Top 10, maybe? Certainly top 20. This is, uh, every repeat viewing is entertaining every single time. So yeah, there's the front and there's the back. And you know what, guys? We're just gonna do an unboxing right here, right now, right in front of you. Oh my gosh, you ready? You sitting down? All right, you hold on to something. Here we go. Oh yeah, cracking it open. Oh, mmm, you get that fresh steelbook smell. So it's got this nice little uh, purpley J card on there. So we're just gonna remove that. Nice. Okay, so, ooh, look at that. Oh, that is nice. I don't know if, if the camera can pick this up it's got a nice shine to the front that is excellent and the, oh, on the back's got never give up never surrender with their ship right there that is so cool crack it open oh, there it is we just got us a blu-ray right there that is excellent stuff man oh i could not be happier this is excellent it's in great shape perfect perfection y'all so there you go that that wraps up uh mailbox movies for today ending it with two amazing steel books empire strikes back and galaxy quest oh <laughs> i'm a happy camper right now y'all okay this was a lot of fun all right I'm, I'm just gonna go play with a bunch of this stuff i'm gonna open stuff and sniff it and take it out and look at it and <laughs> you know all the fun stuff that you do with your movie collection right you guys do that right okay it's not just me okay anyway uh do me a favor if you are new to this channel hit like and subscribe i sincerely appreciate it and don't forget to hit that notification bell all right so until next time me and these cool new steelbooks is that up right yeah we'll catch you later